Hey everyone, Kelly Mahler, occupational therapist, and I'm gonna attempt to cover a very big topic in a very short amount of time. And really that's about shifting from compliance-based approaches to interception-based approaches. And specifically what I wanted to talk about is like what is the difference between compliance and introception? Uh, I'm gonna cover eight differences that I see and I'm curious to know what more you have to add. Uh, but before I get to those eight differences, I just wanna acknowledge the fact that this conversation represents a big shift in our society and the systems that are um, in existence right now, like education and parenting um, and the workplace, et cetera, like compliance is everywhere. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This makes me feel so vulnerable to say, but I use compliance. I use compliance with my own children. I use it as an occupational therapist with my comp with my clients. Like I am seeing compliance sneak into what I do on a daily basis. It's ingrained in me because I have been raised in a society that has been very focused on compliance. And so I am working really hard to be reflective of my practice, of how I'm operating as a parent, as an occupational therapist, of how I'm operating as a human being, and just trying every day to make baby steps towards more of an interception approach that's filled with curiosity and validation. Okay, so let's talk about the eight main differences between a compliance-based approach and an interception-based approach. Okay, difference number one is that compliance-based approaches really focus on controlling another person's behavior. Um, and that's very different when we talk about an interception-based approach where the focus on is really on not controlling the behavior, but really understanding the reason behind the behavior. Because if we can get to that deep why, if we can understand if there's a lagging skill, if there's internal discomfort, then that can drive our supports. We can intervene, we can help co-regulate that person um, in a more meaningful way. Difference number two, compliance-based approaches are all about observable behavior and they assume to understand why a person's doing what they're doing based on what is observed. Um, there's very little curiosity in that. Um, an interception-based approach seeks to get to that deep why. It asks the person what's going on. It uses respectful guessing based on an internal curiosity framework to try to think about what it is we see on the outside and what re how that reflects a person's internal experience. Is that person in pain? Are they overwhelmed? Are they dysregulated, um, et cetera, et cetera. Difference number three is that in a compliance-based approach, many times that blame is on the child. Like the child is being purposefully defiant. They are being oppositional. They are being attention seeking. Their behavior is avoidant. And so all of that blame is really blaming the child. They're putting all of that ownership on the child and the child needs to fix their behavior in a compliance-based approach. Um, how we are updating that with interoception is that really ownership is on us as the adult and how can we change our behavior to be a better support? How can we understand each person's body a little bit better and what their body needs in this moment for success and thriving and how can we change our behavior to provide that support? Okay, difference number four. That compliance-based approach really um, encourages and forces many children to hide their internal experience or mask their internal experience in order to please other people, in order to get the reinforcer, in order to avoid the punishment, whatever it is. They are hiding their internal needs many times in order to survive their world. Whereas an interception approach is completely the opposite. It encourages each person to explore their inner needs, to understand them so that they can meet their body's needs more successfully. And then that in turn improves so-called behavior. Um, and, and so that interception approach is really about empowering each person to understand their body um, so that they can be more regulated and present and um, participating. The next difference is really all about 
motivation. And compliance-based approaches are rooted in external forms of motivation, those external reinforcers, whether they're stickers or token charts or clip up, clip down charts. Um, there's lots of forms of external motivation. A compliance-based approach many times assumes that a child is not doing something because they lack the motivation to do it. And so they come in with all of these external forms of motivation, like these token boards and sticker boards and whatever else to try to convince that child to quote unquote behave. Uh, it fails to really capture again, that inner ex experience of the child, like why are they not being successful? And that's where that interception based approach comes in. And that's really about helping a child to understand themselves so they have that internal motivation um, to be able to do well when they can. They understand themselves through all of that interception work. They understand what their body uniquely needs to be able to do well when they can. The next difference is really all about our self-worth. And those compliance-based approaches really conditions a person to um, develop conditional self-worth, really where they their self-identity becomes like good behavior equals a good child. Um, and it's just this lots of focus on what is good behavior in a compliance-based approach. And if you can meet those standards, then your identity becomes that you are a good person. So shifting that to an interception approach is really about creating unconditional self-worth, of knowing your worth is um, valid and your feelings are valid and worthy of attention regardless if you're having a good day or a bad day, um, you are always worthy of that attention and support. Okay, difference number seven is that those compliance-based approaches are rooted in a power hierarchy um, where it's like essentially like, okay, an adult saying like, if you please me, you can get the reward. Um, and where an interception approach is different is that they are really like rooted in safe relationships where it's a mutual pairing or partnership. And that child does well because they feel safe with us. Um, so if we talk about the compliance version, that child is doing well pretty much because they're scared to not do well. Um, whereas in an interception informed approach where we're working on inner fields and helping someone to feel interceptively safe with us, that child does well because they feel safe with us. Um, and then the eighth difference between compliance and interception based approaches in our compliance, it is a quick result many times. Many times you might see a behavior change, but it's at the expense of long-term issues. Um, the trauma is being noted in literature and published research about compliance-based approaches and how traumatizing they can be. There's long-term consequences of compliance-based approaches. Whereas if we shift to an interception-based approach, they we do get results, but oftentimes they're slower because a person is learning or really like relearning about their body and um, and really also learning to honor what their body needs. And that can take time, especially if they have been exposed to compliance for many, many years of their life. They have to override all of that conditioning where they were being conditioned to ignore their body um, and then get um, give them time to get back in their body to, to return and understand what their body needs. So hopefully this is helpful discussion and understanding the differences between compliance and interception approaches. Um, and I hope that you'll join me in making small little baby steps. I know this is a big systems change. Will you join me in making small baby steps towards a better world and a more interception focused place? Until next time.